Everyone who knows me knows that I love the basketball player Kobe Bryant. Kobe has something called the Mamba mentality, and it's something that I apply to my own life. What the Mamba mentality is, is being the best version of yourself. Um, the mantra is having that real insatiable competitive spirit. It's trusting the process and working hard so when it's time to perform, you will perform to your best. Kobe Bryant, in order to receive all those accolades, worked his ass off, worked every day to elevate his game. And so if you own a restaurant or you own a chain of restaurants, yes, you had talent and maybe you are a natural at business, but in order to get 20 restaurants or in order to build a law firm from one man and eight cases to a hundred lawyers in 20 cities across 15 states and represent 60,000 clients, you also have to have that Mamba mentality where you're gonna work hard every day. You're gonna get up at 4 a.m. every day. You're going to outwork the other guy every day. Those are the things that it takes. You can be the most naturally talented lawyer, but if you don't have the work ethic, if you don't trust the process, if you don't come to play every day, if you don't have that insatiable appetite, if you don't continuously work at your art and your craft and your skill, when it comes time to perform, you're not gonna perform very well. So I contemplate this a lot. The hardworking man, the mamba mentality, versus the naturally talented individuals. And I am a betting man, and I have bet my entire life. And I will take the hardworking man who's trusting the process, who's getting up early, who's prepared, who's strategic, and who's making every effort to improve every day on a consistent basis over someone who has just been given the gifts of being naturally talented in business, or an entrepreneurship or mind, but does not have that same Mamba mentality because he's lazy. He's not elevating himself to be the best version of himself, where the hardworking man is elevating himself every single day to be the best version of himself, who has an insatiable competitive spirit, who trusts the process, and who will continue, regardless of his outcomes, to bring that every day every day. So I continue to use the word elevate and elevation. And sometimes people get confused between elevation and motivation. Motivation is something that is very popular in society today. I mean, you can't look at any social platforms. You can't read any books. It's all about being motivated. But when it comes to people with the mama mentality, they already are motivated. And it's taking the next step. They're motivated insatiably, innately. And so it's about elevating your game. And so when you look at someone like Kobe Bryant, who had those natural gifts, came straight out of high school into the NBA, but that wasn't enough for him. He wanted to be the best version of himself. And so every day he elevated himself. Every day he woke up at 4 a.m. Every day he was the first guy in the gym. Every day he was the last one to leave. Every day he studied game film. Every day he worked on any weakness in his game. And when you have that Mamba mentality, you're going to perform on game day. You're going to bring your A game every day. Every conscientious decision you make is going to be rewarded because you're willing to put the time and the effort and the hard work in your art, your skill, or your craft. When it comes to the subject between motivation and elevation, um, the person that I think understands this concept the best is an author by the name of Tim Grover, who I've had the pleasure of meeting. And what Tim describes is finding these gifted people already who have this natural talent, but then making them elevate to this Mamba mentality. Tim Grover actually was Michael Jordan's personal trainer for a number of years. And then when Michael Jordan stepped aside, he became Kobe Bryant's personal trainer. 
And the, the way he describes those athletes is absolutely amazing on how every day, regardless of their skills, phenomenal skills, talents, and gifts that the good Lord has given them, that they want to elevate their game daily. And they are constantly even outworking the people that are not as good as them. And that's what makes you the best at your craft, the best at your skill, above the rest. In my own law firm, I do my very best, obviously, to hire talented lawyers. But before I make a decision to hire a talented lawyer, I'm really concerned about if they have the mama mentality, if they have the desire to take their art, to take their skill to the next level. And what I've learned in my own law firm and watching the lawyers who've developed, who bring their A-day every game, there's a, there's a sense of pride. They care about their craft. They care about their skills. They want to get better. If they've tried 50 cases, they want to try 100 cases. If they've tried 100 cases, they want to try 200 cases. They are always investing in themselves on how to become the best version of themselves. First and foremost, you have to make sure that you have that mama mentality and that you work hard and that you become the best version of yourself and that you get up at 4 a.m. and you're the first one at work and you're the last one to leave and you're always working on your art and your skill and your craft and you're asking questions and you're reading books and you're hanging out with like-minded people who can elevate you. But at the same time, just as important, each and every person in your organization, you need to teach them the principles of Mamba mentality. You have to work with them. You have to allow them to take classes. You have to invest in them. You have to understand what they want so they can become the best version of themselves. And so in the end, your entire organization has the Mamba mentality.